Hello, welcome back. My name is William James. I'm the host of the Board Book Geek. How all of you like, subscribe for more. I do content twice a week, sometimes more, depending on what I'm doing. So, indie books. There is a lot of snobbery and ridiculousness about indie publishing that still exists. And yeah, there's some bad indie publishing. There's no way around it. But th there is some phenomenal indie works which blow trade books out of the water. They're great fun. They're enjoyable. And that's what I want to talk about today. I picked five indie books that I've recently read that I want to talk about. Go in depth. And before we get going and before we start this show, I want to say all of my social media is down below and my Patreon, so if you guys are interested in that, please feel free to have a look. So, let's start this show, shall we? Sometimes two books come along at once. These are both by A.G. MacDonald. This is Cinderella Dead at 25 and Silent Sirens. These are gritty, rooted in reality, crime noir novels set in the Hollywood Golden Age. Great characters, great writing, they pull you in, they're atmospheric you can almost smell the cigarette smoke. They've got that kind of vibe to them. If you love things like LA Confidential, you will love these. And I will say that here and now. If you want that slow burn classic detective, it's just, these are on point. They're well written. They're very concise in writing. And they never drag. You never feel like they're slowing down which is an extremely refreshing thing because these are exactly what they need to be. They're not that long. I think they're both around the 200 page mark and they're just fantastic. And when you get into that, when you find a book like that or a book series, I took a risk when buying these because I didn't know too much about them and I just ended up not being able to put them down. So there we go two fabulous crime noirs. Here we have book four in the Kyber series by Wilbur Seymour. He is a phenomenally underrated science fiction writer. Indie published, great stories, great characters, again with this good world building. And science fiction novels are either going to pull you in or let you go. And this doesn't, this pulls you in. It's not too long. Again, we're both sitting at probably around the 200 page mark. But this is book four and there's a whole series, the Kyber Station, the Kyber Station, and then you've got the Kyber series, are just these great militaristic science fiction novels. And they're beautifully done. Again, well written, great world building, great character development, because the characters don't feel stale and no one ever feels completely pointless. Characters appear with reason. Even the background characters appear with reason. He's a phenomenal writer and criminally underrated. Here we go. Another dark crime noir, Old Wounds and Nick Shelby case. A collection of 15 short crime stories from dark detective noir to domestic murder, crossing time periods as far back as the Victorian era and into the new future, the near future. Some with a twist of horror, science fiction or supernatural. Each story revolves around intriguing characters with twists, turns, and occasionally an occasional string in the tail. These are phenomenal, and I love short story collections because they they there's something in there for everyone. You might not like one, but you'll like the other, and I couldn't put this down again. I read it through in an evening. Brilliantly written, brilliant character development, and all of these characters are just fascinating. Like, I want to get inside this guy's mind. <laughs> like, how? where did this come from just I want to get inside your head that's how fascinated I am by these and I will be looking forward to more from this writer just great reads go out there and get it today now do you want to survive a zombie apocalypse then I'll wholeheartedly recommend this book by JD Stone this is a dark dark novel that takes you into the beginnings of the apocalypse and I just, I genuinely, this scared me in places. Like, there were book moments where I was reading this book and I was holding it like, what happens next? I don't want to know what happens next. And I cared about the characters. They felt very human and very relatable in that sense. Beautifully written, well edited, very concise writing. I love a concise writer. There's no purple poise, descriptive, but never over the top. And that's what this is. 
zombie apocalypse novels can be a mixed bag for me, and I will be real about that, but this one is good. Very good. Because partly, they all fall into the Walking Dead trope, and this never feels like it does. It, it feels so much bigger than that, and the stakes feel so much higher. The Seventh Cadence. Now, great indie fantasy, and there is a lot of great indie fantasy, and there are many writers I could include, but I thought I'd include a newer release. I've talked about this on my channel before, and I was part of the release for this book as well. Just genuinely good, well-built, epic fantasy with great characters and all the things you expect from it, really. You genuinely care about these characters again. They feel very much close to you and you get very attached to them. Spoiler, sweetie. And you end up in this sort of perfectly built fantasy world. And world building and fantasy is like my big thing. And like the world building, the character development, the story structure, it all fits together. And again, it never feels overdone. It never feels overblown. Fantasy novels, I'm a big fantasy geek. And fantasy novels like this I do fall in love with. It's a great book and a great read. And what I will say is, like, support indie writers, it's important. And this is prime example. This book would probably get criminally ignored if it was released as a mainstream or trade-published novel.